so welcome students for excel maths online classes sorry it's been now some disruption i told you due to some transmission problem so we came to the chat very late uh, today's topic is how to score good marks actually a kind of question was asked by one of the viewers abhishek this question in fact we wanted to make this topic today but it stayed self that question was asked uh, nothing harm in to continue of course we we finish certain tips about uh, fear in mathematics weak in mathematics almost all these are interconnected there's nothing harm in repeating the tips or telling that ideas again and again uh, so how to score good marks in mathematics good marks in the sense a decent mark i told you state self 60 generally they say first class in, in those days say 75 is called um, good good marks 90 and above uh, and even centum is good but your aim should be good marks in the sense first of all if you want to get 60 marks at least your aim should be get 70 marks for you for example if you write for 65 to 70 only after some mistakes you can land up in 60 so in my teaching experience for more than 30 years i have found situations and students were studying to get through that is 40 marks some syllabus have 35 marks as pass so if you study just for 40 marks and you write for 40 marks you won't get all the 40 marks you are bound to get some five or six marks less where the chances of failure is there that is how many fail Uh, they come home and say uh, that uh, i written for 40 marks 45 marks so if you want to get a minimum of 40 marks at least 10 to 15 marks you must write extra so there should be i mean gap to what get that a minimum mark to adjust and get that 40 so scoring good marks so as i also you asked about uh, So any doubts or clarification or some sort of doubts you can put in this online classes we'll upload the videos um, also if you want a particular syllabus or full exercise to be done or extra problems test and all you can join our zoom app so you can contact our email id also we got another youtube channel called the excel math study where we have uploaded some videos a lot of some are there of course only in some particular topics uh, like um, uh, arithmetic progression quadratic equation and other things that also you can see excel math study you can note down thing and you you welcome for this excel math online classes it's between from 8th to 12th standard all syllabus state cbc iic icc syllabus any doubts you can ask and those things will upload in the next class what all doubts you have and any counseling clarifications you can ask we are happy to explain to it so continue the scoring good marks the main thing is you have to pay attention in class so you can score good marks mainly your more attention and more concentration that will remove so if you want to get good marks you, you must not be weak or poor in mathematics so as i told you you should pay attention in classroom and your concentration should be more you must work out more and uh, i told you uh, for test and all already i told you you must try to what take the test seriously ah it's only a class test only one particular topic so the test if you take seriously it will work out in the final exam suddenly it won't come in final exam test or quarterly or awfully or revision exam whatever it is uh, so that you take it serious and try to work out in the time limit okay and in the test or anything don't panic if you don't get one sum uh, you can just work out till what you know leave it and you can come back uh, sometimes the last step you meter uh, the answer might be wrong for example 
a solution you are doing linear solution generally x you get full numbers like 2 suppose you get an odd answer 2 by 27 you get panic might be you might have made mistake one or two steps before so leave it off don't cancel sometimes you get step marks but you know don't rely on step mark it's not a good habit try to do the sum correctly till last many students say welcome rajkumar joshi for the thing uh, so you can watch this if you have any doubts also you can ask me welcome for this excel maths online classes we got on zoom app for doing all things so you can join us if you want regularly but we will tell you good morning rajkumar joshi uh, okay you put it correctly you need because of this lockdown probably morning and evening doesn't make much difference there's a thing problem okay um, and then getting scoring good marks uh, is formulas and all you can write and see again as i said i said in my days they give imposition when you write one formula wrong it has to write 10 times nowadays it's not possible because if wrong things goes in the mind it's very hard to remove it mathematics many have a fear many are a weak or poor because wrong things goes in the mind a minus b the whole square i said a plus b the whole cube uh, there's a difference between a minus b the whole square and a square minus b square again i repeat a minus b the whole square and a square minus b square are different many have a doubt given in 12th standard both formulas are different because wrong things goes in the mind and uh, it's very hard to remove it so if you don't know a concept if you don't know a formula we can we can do it welcome rajkumar joshi and uh, this is the main thing which you have to do it and this way i was telling about uh, you have to find where you are weak for example many are weak in algebra science addition subtraction the foundation if you are very weak it's very hard uh, i told you yesterday till fifth standard many parents will say my son or daughter gets they will come first in the class i don't know what happened after 6 7 th 8 when you go to the higher classes it becomes a little tougher just like climbing a mountain when you climb the first part of a mountain or the lower ridge of a mountain it's quite easy as you climb up in the mountain you feel what little hard to climb you have some breathing grasping thing to climb the mountain just like that when you go to higher classes 7 8 9 10 11 12 you should have a challenge you find it little hard and uh, regarding to get good marks you must plan your study especially especially which your week you must work out more sums some students have the habit of working out things which are very easy for example a fraction a decimal comes they don't like one sum in fraction they'll work out adding and finding out the lcm how to add to fraction second sum again they want the numbers numerical straight numbers straight addition like what 4 into 3 4 plus 3 1 by 4 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2 3 fraction addition even in ninth standard they are afraid they become dull when they see a fraction or a decimal or square root sums so every sums you have to work out where you are weak you have to find out and try to work out more sums on it so you have to plan and do it okay uh, don't mug up anything uh, many students have the habit of what writing the sum again and again and mugging up or copying from a guide copying from a friend this thing should not be done uh, you have to try to work out if you work out it will come off of course one sum you won't get it a fraction or decimal after some half a dozen sum six sums will get it you need patience you have to do it if you got to score good marks you must work out previous question papers without welcome deepak samson raj how to remember formulas i told you already best way is to remember formulas is write and see three or four or five times nothing wrong it's not a shame not necessary to write in a class or a school write the formula five times it will go in your mind thoroughly that's what in those days in my childhood and all when some formulas go wrong my mother was a math teacher even my tuition i mean my school master ask us to write the formula five or six times or even 10 times then the formula will become thorough 
and work out more sums on a particular formula. Don't go to the second formula immediately or the third formula immediately. Till you become thorough with one formula, the sums based on one formula, you work out that formula. Then go to the second formula. Many what they do, they get satisfied when they do one sum in a one formula, A plus B the whole square. In A plus B the whole square, or A minus B the whole square, try to work out at least four or five, six sums. Then go to the formula A square minus B square, A plus B the whole cube, A minus B the whole cube. There are a lot of formulas. So try to work out. So to remember formulas, you have to work out more sums. Don't secure to next formula immediately. And generally your handwriting should be better. Don't try to scribble. For example, if a sum you're doing it to get good marks, if you get stuck up, many students, when they see that what they have done, their handwriting is weak for them. Or they get an answer sheet. They themselves don't know what they wrote. One step they write two. Next step they write the two as three because sometimes they, they write the two like three. I've seen cases. Seven they write, they like as one. One they write like seven. So these kind of handwriting mistakes are there in a hurry, in a panic, in an environment, exam environment. So your handwriting should be there. To get good marks, you must try to finish the paper in time. That doesn't mean don't rush up. Don't do it very fast. So you must do it in time. And uh, during exam time, don't go through phone and what TV and all. Don't go much. Be steady in the exam. Work out, concentrate more on the exam and don't leave the class before the thing. Many students, they have overconfidence. They don't get good marks. They leave the exam all before 15 minutes. Actually, I think the rule says you can leave before half an hour like that. What is the formula for A plus B plus C the whole square? I'll tell the answer. You can write it. A square plus B square plus C square, plus 2AB, plus 2BC, plus 2CA. Again, I repeat, uh, actually, we'll connect with the board. We're waiting for a cable. And next week, we'll connect it. A is called the first number, B is called the second number, and C is called the third number. Again, I repeat, A is called the first number, B is called the second number, C is called the third number. So A plus B plus C, the whole square is a square, square of the first number, plus B square, square of the second number, and C square is square of the third number, and then plus 2AB, 2 into first number into second number, plus 2BC, 2 into second number into third number, plus 2CA, 2 into third number into first number. If you write and show in a board, you can understand better, but wait till next week, because we have to connect with the cable, and the cable we are being ordered. There's a delay. So A plus B plus C, the whole square, will have six numbers, A square, and everything is plus. How to avoid silly mistake? Prasanna Dhammar, welcome Prasanna Dhammar. Silly mistakes can be avoided if you work out more sum. I told you, one sum, if you do it correctly, don't get satisfied. Next sum, you're bound to make a mistake. At least some Six sums you have to work out, then only you can do it. So A plus B plus C, the whole square is, everything is plus because plus comes it. A square plus B square plus C square plus 2AB plus 2BC plus 2C. Uh, some students are quite intelligent. They can grasp fast. They'll understand the formula one. That's why I said A square is called square of the first number. Plus B square is square of the second number. C square is square of the but number 2AB and 2BC plus 2CA. And uh, also continuing with the topic, how to score good marks. So first you must aim to get between 60 and 70. You may ask what side you're telling like that. Immediately you can't get 90 and above. If you want to go to the fourth floor, first you must go to the first floor, then to the second floor, then to the third floor, then to the fourth floor. 60, 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100. Immediately, you can't get 90 to 100. There may be an exception. Out of 100 students, some four or five students can get 90 and above immediately. Majority of the students can start from 60, 70, 70, 80 in the class test. They must aim for 70 to 80 or 80 to 90 and then they do it. So they must work out a lot of tests. 
the more they work out tests, the more they get more marks. Immediately, they can't get 90 and above. Again, there may be some exceptions. Some students may get it. So if you want to get 70 marks, you must work out for at least 80, 85 marks because there are chances of making some mistake, silly mistakes as they ask now. That's the main thing. There we have to get it. Also, you can watch our Excel Match Study. We have Excel Match Study one more YouTube where we put a lot of problems. Any doubt you can ask, but we will we'll generally explain the doubts. We'll upload the thing. Press the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Also, you can press the bell button for any future uploads and future notifications. Tell your friends, neighbors, and well wishes. To continue about the thing, if there is a minus symbol in A plus B plus C square, then what will be with the formula? This there are two ways of tackling, for example, A minus B plus C. So you can put the plus in front and put minus B the whole square. This you can understand more if you write and show you. As I told you, you have to wait for some more time uh, to uh, understand it. Um, or we'll upload the minus formula tonight and show it tomorrow, how to tackle minus in between coming and tomorrow you can watch it in the thing, uploaded video. We'll show you two sums, A plus B plus C, A minus B plus C, A minus B minus C, A plus B minus C. All this will upload the formulas tonight and you can watch it tomorrow thing and uh, as you said th th these kind of doubts uh, mostly will will upload for the next day because sometime when we do it some sums immediately other syllabus people will be there 12 standard students will be there and 11 standard will be there IAC ICC will be there and Deepak Samson Raj has asked about I'm accounts student how to get good marks whether you're a science student or account student how to get good marks if you get good marks, the school will be happy, the parents will be happy, the teachers will be happy, you will be happy, and everybody will be happy. Am I correct? If you get 30 marks, if you fail or just pass, your daddy will be scolding you because he's paying the fees, he's hard working, he's working and paying the fees. Not to get 40 marks. You got my point. So if you get good marks, your parents, daddy, mommy will be happy, your brother will be happy, your sister will be happy, your teacher will be happy. Your school will be happy. Everybody will be happy. But if you get poor marks, everybody will be what? Dull. So that's a main problem. So you must try to get good marks. And uh, main thing is in accounts or science, Whatever it is, in accounts, you have to work out more problems. In science, for example, biology means you must do a good drawing. Drawing will fetch you good marks. If your drawing is bad, you have to draw and label the parts. So that is very important. Um, coming to accounts also, you have to do the debit and credit things thoroughly. And uh, there are a lot of tips in accounts. Narration you must write correctly. So every topic has its own things. For example, you are writing some points in history or civics. You must write in points. You must not repeat the points. So getting good marks is good. As I told you, if you get good marks, the school is happy. The teacher is happy. The parents are happy. You are happy. If you get low marks, you become dull. And so the, the daddy will scold you. The atmosphere in the house is bad. The teacher will scold you. And the atmosphere in the house, in the school is bad. In a parent-teacher meeting, the school will scold you. There you get dull in front of others. So getting good marks is very important. And uh, Rajkumar Joshi, as I told you, that minus formulas we'll upload today. We'll show you on some also. You can watch tomorrow on doubts you can ask. Most of the doubts... You can just ask us, we'll upload it the next day. And because when we teach a particular some doubts in a class, other students will get distracted 
because students of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, state syllabus, ICAC, IAC, CBC, everybody is here. So 100% will show you the difference between the formulas of minus come in between, you'll make it thorough. Still, if you have doubt, you can ask us. And um, about theory questions in maths, practical and theory is there. Practical is uh, where you do a practical marks is more important. Practical, you can score 50 out of 50, you can score 48, 47 and all. Uh, that's the main thing. So practically, you teach so you must do the practicals correctly. So you must practice the practical, you got a table where you practice the tables, uh, the thing what you note down. For example, a particular experiment you're doing, pressure calculations, what you call calculations, you must note down. That also you have to practice well to get good marks. That is the main thing. And next thing is weak or fear in mathematics, I said. Fear and weak day is different, I told you. Some weak students, they try to overcome. Fear students, they run away from maths. I said uh, some students want to join the marine engineering, aeronautics, aerospace. All this needs a maths knowledge. So when they want to join the marine engineering, they, they want to become a captain in a ship. They want to do aeronautics, flight captain. So they need a mathematics. So they somehow try to overcome the fear. They ask us. Overcome the weakness in mathematics. And the home tuitions, if you want to even join, if you're in Bangalore East, you can say, you can join our email ID. We teach math, physics, and chemistry in home tuitions. Don't forget Excel math study. One more YouTube there you can watch. And doubts we'll try to explain also. Anything, you can tell your friends, neighbors, and others. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe our video. Press the bell button for any future notification and future upload. We'll send it. How to solve square root sums. So you can put the square root sums. You can ask the doubts thing. We'll explain to you. First, you must learn the Square root. Square root sums, there are two or three types. One is straight method. You can give the sum, sums uh, with full square root, square root of fractions, decimals are there. We'll, we'll upload some more sums tomorrow in square root. After that, you can comment on it. So, send the some in the comment box will we'll upload the video. As I told you, if you ask on some, you can do it even if we get a board that some particular sum we can't do it now because students from various like account, science, 9th standard, 10th standard, 11th standard, 12th standard, like that. So whatever you have some or a doubt or a clarification, you put in the comment box. Next day we'll upload it. Still, you have a doubt, you can do it. So don't forget, put your doubt or clarification sums in comment box or comment section. We'll do it. Do subscribe our channel. And uh, also you can tell the syllabus and your standard so that it does not confuse others. For example, you ask a sum in square root. Square root sum comes in very, very syllabus, CBC, state syllabus, ICAC. So if you are a CBC syllabus, sometimes it comes in 8th standard. For some of them, it comes in ninth standard. Some syllabus, it comes in 7th standard. So when you ask some doubt or clarification or something, when you put in the comment box, please try to tell, write your name and which syllabus or which standard you come under. Don't forget. So Rajkumar Joshi, you asked two things. If you have any particular square root sum, you can tell us and put us in the comment section. If not, we'll work out two sums and show you. If you're not able to understand any particular sums, tell the syllabus and also standard. That is easy for us, for others also. We'll work out. Today also, you can work out. You can see we have, we have just uploaded a lot of sums in this excellent maths online classic. A lot of sums. Rajkumar Joshi in linear equations in two unknowns. Various models we uploaded. Three unknowns we uploaded. So, like that, we'll upload your 
doubt also it will be useful like students like you you can tell your friends and to watch it this we give lot of suggestions tips counseling ideas so this one hour online classes excel maths online classes it's not only for maths any doubts you can ask anything you can ask it's just an interaction one to one face to face interaction or face to what can interaction to make you understand things and surely rajkumar joshi will will work out some particular square root sums any square root sums you can ask you can put in the comment box or comment section we'll do it or description box acting uh, as a channels you can do it thing we'll give it and you can see other uh, thing also channels like this thing you can tell your friends neighbors for home tuitions in maths physics chemistry in bangalore east area you can contact your email address you can press the bell button for any future uploads and notifications we'll happy to tell it we'll put other channel names in the description box for you to watch and also you want square root of 121 and 1024 okay i will tell orally now but tomorrow we'll upload it some more some sort will upload. square root of 121 is quite easy uh, see uh, 11 square this is like a formula i'll i'll type it now 11 square is 121 121 square root of 1121 is plus or minus 11 this we tell as a formula from 1 square 2 square see for example 1 square is 1 is plus or minus 1 2 square is 4 square root of 4 is plus or minus 2 till this 25 square we teach it till this 25 square you must know it uh, 3 square is 9 square root of 9 is plus or minus 3 4 square is 16 square root of 16 is plus or minus 4 if you want to go for entrance and all till 25 you must be correct this you can learn only if you are in lower class 7th standard 8th standard many students what they do they come to 11th standard 12th standard then they try the square root so you are in the young age so you can work out this if you are 7th standard 8th standard you can learn this in fingertips like this 5 square is 25 This table you must write in the last page. So Rajkumar Joshi, you write in the last page. This must refer. If, if initially you won't get it. See twenty five square for us. For example, till twenty five we write sixty five six twenty five plus or minus twenty five. Okay. So like this we write. I think tomorrow we'll upload to you. And the other one eleven square you must write like this. Eleven square is one twenty one means. You must write in the mathematical form. Look here, eleven square is one twenty one. You must write like this: square root of one twenty one. That we'll do it tomorrow and show you. In the board, you can write it. It is very hard to type it sometime. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll write and show you. And how to tackle square root in lower classes? If you don't tackle square root in lower classes, you will have a big problem. You will run away when you get square root sums in what? Eleventh and twelfth. When you're seventh and eighth, you can tackle it. So tomorrow, today you you are given in the comment box. Anything in the comment box, you can tell the problems. We'll do the square root sum. We are happy you have done it, and we'll do it, and uh, we'll put in the board and do it. Even if you have a board, we will connect with the board. Only some easy sums we'll do it in the board and show immediately because other students are there. Like third standard one zero two four. It's a thirty two square. Thirty two square and all. You can't take in the table. What I tell you is this one square and all. We'll show you in the thing. We'll do in the board and show you how to keep it in the like a formula and how to do it. So tonight we'll put it and tomorrow you can watch it. This thing already we have uploaded some videos for linear equation. Two variables, three variables, and one variable. One variable two will become one. That also we can do it. So certain things see square root of uh, one one twenty one is eleven. It will be uploaded. Uh, typing is little hard. Put putting square and all equal to under little take little problem. So we'll write in a board and upload it uh, tomorrow. 
and uh, more doubts you can ask it and continuing with how to score more marks i told you continue that point your handwriting should be legible and also questions i told you yesterday I, i was speaking about a topic in the question paper will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 questions you know last three you know in the middle three you don't know i told you to work out put the numbers correctly right 1 2 3 and then 7 8 9 you can do it but nowadays teachers say don't do like that don't jump question but i don't know why they say like that i told you out of 100 students in a class 90 students may do even 91 do only 60 may do all the students i mean all the questions 1 2 3 some 40 to 30 students or at least 20 students can't work out all questions one by one because all five fingers are not same all students won't have the same iq all students won't have the same knowledge or understanding or grasping capacity so you can write the question number 1 2 3 and then you can do 4 5 6 if you work out the sums which are more thorough you gain confidence you become happy your knowledge increases then you can go to the sums which are not thorough then sometimes you get the answer if you straightly jump away to the sums which are not thorough you collapse in the sums which you know well for example fourth and fifth sum questions you are not thorough if you work out fourth and fifth and make a mistake and become panic and try the sixth sum which are thorough you are bound to make a mistake because in the exam hall there is a psychology very feel uneasy very feel nervous very feel panic all students are not thorough good with the exam all many students parents say a teacher say that boy does the sum very good in the class but in the exam they struggle in the parents teacher meeting many teachers say so in the exam hall the environment different some students may be brilliant may have a boldness may face things boldly they may work out 100 students some 10 students may do thoroughly or 20 students may do they don't have a exam fear or 30 or 60 at least some 20 30 students will have a fear in the exam hall so so you must not take everybody same that's why i'm telling when you work out a question work out question put the numbers question numbers correctly and work out uh, as i said the teachers say work out all sums one question after another they say because they don't want to leave any sum they want you to work out all sums Uh, Abhishek Raj, how to find out square root easily and cube also? I said this I'll work out today. Any doubt you can ask. Uh, this I said today I'll work out in the board and upload it. So most of the doubts, clarifications, sums you can put in the comment box or the comment section. We'll upload it. Don't forget to put press a like and also subscribe and channel press the bell button for any future uploads and notification. Now, also, don't forget to tell your friends, neighbors, and others. We got one more thing called Excel Math Study. Excel Math Study, where we upload a lot of videos. Of course, in particular topics, lot of sums, lot of syllabus, we can work out. And this Excel Math online class also. Uh, Abhishek Raj, Rajkumar Doshi, we have uploaded some videos. Go and see tonight. Those videos are there for you. Linear equation, various. methodology we have done linear equation five methods you have done which method your syllabus has got you can take it again i repeat rakshma joshi go to the uploaded videos your doubt surely will upload today the square root sums not only sums you ask other sums also will do it of course uh, next week we will get a board even if you get a board we don't work out all sums immediately because uh, suppose you ask a sum in 12 standard then a student in 8 standard will get confused So he he leave the chat. Rajkumar, I think you are in standard uh, seven or eight. I don't know because you asked the basic one in square root. Uh, we'll work out today uh, and we'll upload it. So like that, you can ask now. If you want the full question and the full syllabus, you want to work out all sums, you want to work out extra sum, you want to work out. You can join our Zoom app. Uh, that mostly will start by July first. because we we have to form groups some students has come stating they want to one to one classes or uh, two or three want to join some they want as a group so it depends upon how you ask it rajkumar you say yeah, yeah, eight standard good rajkumar so we'll upload the thing uh, we'll try to work out in the board uh, syllabus i think uh, 
what syllabus you have a lot of syllabus state syllabus cbsc team coming be in bangalore we got in bangalore and certain states isc and icsc are popular in west bengal and in um, karnataka isc and icsc are very popular for information chennai has got only 3 icsc or icsc schools 3 or 4 only uh, whereas in bangalore there are lot of icsc icsc schools for information 10th standard is called icsc icsc is in 12th standard chennai people don't know much about it uh, so, so like that but cbsc is popular everywhere mostly in north india i mean what syllabus you come you are you are under cbsc or state syllabus or icsc or icsc i am asking what syllabus you have you, you i think you are in cbsc or state syllabus like tamil nadu state karnataka state you can ask it so what syllabus you can say Ah, uh, good. You see, CBC, good, good. CBC in Techno, very good. CBC is a syllabus you find all over India, mostly in thing. ICSE you find in mostly in like Karnataka and this kind of what? Yeah. West Bengal. ICSC and ICSE has headquarters in Calcutta. CBC has got headquarters in Delhi. State syllabus Karnataka as in Bangalore. Tamil Nadu has got in Chennai like that. But nowadays, even state syllabus are very hard. All syllabus are quite hard nowadays because they want every state want the students to be more thorough and come out in entrance in flying colors. They want the state people to become doctors, engineers, scientists, everything. So all syllabus are tough only. So Rajkumar Joshi or CBSC syllabus. So we'll work out this some situations. We'll work, we'll work out extra some sorts of and um, and the, regarding. how to get good marks i'll continue with the topic to get good marks i told you you must work out the sums you are thorough but as the teacher says try to be thorough with all the topics that's what the teacher says why you want to jump questions uh, so what they say suppose you, you, many students why the teacher say work out all sums you know suppose six question 1 you are thorough 2 you are thorough 3 7 8 you are thorough 1 2 3 work out 7 8 when you come to 5 6 you become panic and some switch are thorough you work happily some switch are which are little weak you become dull and make mistake that is why teachers and school say work out all sums one after another but i gave an idea for weak students some students who fail always they cry for them i said first to develop to do some switch are thorough so if the 100 students 10 students will be very weak they can't even pass getting i know students getting single digit marks like over seven marks eight marks nine marks for those kind of students try to work out sums which you know well and then, then go to sums which are weak so I, i'm not telling for all the students work out sums which are thorough and then go to sums which are weak that's not a good idea but out of 100 students 10 students will be very weak so do like that uh, thing and um, how to get good marks how to remove fears math fear and mathematics how how to work well so try to finish in the main thing and uh, it's not wrong in joining a tuition you can join in school itself some schools have tuition some school don't keep tuitions in the school and join in the tuition deepak samshin raj how to attend question paper mark wise that's why i said question wise mark wise i said i was telling an example yesterday about mark wise in those days graph was for 10 marks graph was for 10 marks many student in those days what you do they go for graph 10 marks directly they give a graph sheet they be weak in graph but they want to get 10 marks immediately they do the graph wrong they rub the graph paper again and the graph paper will get torn off one more graph sheet they may give graph paper you can't be going on asking graph papers so marks wise is not very important do question each question thoroughly one after another question you know well question you don't know well both should be the same side of the balance if a very weak sir i am not even getting 20 marks 10 marks then you do something you know well first but both question you know well and question you are not so thorough both should be in the same side of the balance left and right so try to attend all questions one after another 
there's nothing. If you're very weak, like out of 100 students, 20 students may be weak. Then you do the sums which you know well first and which are weak, you do next. But put the question numbers correctly. But otherwise, as the school says, as the teacher says nowadays, try to work out all sums. One after another, all questions. Because what the teachers say is, if you work out only questions you know well, for example, first question, second question, third question, seventh question, eighth question, and the left out question, four, five, six, if you're not so well, you will surely bound to what? Lose marks, lose interest, lose heart. So that's what they say. Keep both questions in a balance. You know well, you're not so well. All students won't be thorough with all the questions then. So try, and before the exams also to get more good marks, work out questions, topics which are very weak. Algebra, you may be weak. Probability, you may be weak. Sets, you may be easy. Some questions, you may be easy. So like that, you work out. Same thing with science also. Okay. Generally, sleep well before match exam. If you work out till morning, I think I have students working till 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then when they go to the exam, they are so sleepy. They sleep in the exam, half sleepy. For example, 5 fours or 20, they put 21 because they didn't uh, what, sleep well. And uh, sometimes you must have, some people say you must have some nutritious food. That's also true. Don't go half stomach. And uh, don't go with heavy st full stomach. It depends upon some students because uh, all five fingers are not the same. That's the main thing. Don't go for what fa fa fancy foods, fast foods. So if, when you sit in the exam hall, so you get a, some kind of diarrhea. Your stomach gets upset. So don't do all those things. At the same time, don't go empty stomach. Um, so that will lose the marks mainly Spelling mistake. Rajkumar Joshi, I lose marks in the spelling mistake. Generally, maths doesn't have any spelling mistake. For example, in mathematics, only in science subjects, you must be careful. Uh, the spelling mistake. Um, generally, in English, you have to be correct. In science, also, certain words you must be thinking. Uh, for example, pressure. Um, for pressure, for two years, if you put one yes, then so they won't make any thing. Uh, right number of times and see. That's one and a third. Spelling mistakes is not a major criteria for maths and science, only in English and language should have spelling mistakes. Um, but generally, your handwriting should be legible, clear. In maths, also, if the handwriting is clear, I told you first step they put three, the student will itself write next step two. See, if handwriting is not legible, they themselves make a mistake. See, step marks. I've seen students, they get the answer sheet. They get the answer sheet. When they go through the steps, sir, I put first step three. Next step, the same three I copied as two. Because the three, they write like two in a fast. So legibility, writing legible is very important. Yes, that works for maths, also science. Even the teacher who corrects, if handwriting is good, they are bound to what? They spend more, uh, less time and give marks. If your handwriting is bad, no teacher is bound to what? Do thoroughly and check your thing. What is what is legible, they put mark. What is not legible, they put into. Wrong and they walk off. No teacher will try to find out what you've written. For 23, if it looks like 33. You have written 33, but it looks like 23. Your handwriting looks like 23, but it's 33. A teacher who corrects the exam, final exam, after the exams, he, she won't try to find out whether it's 23 or 33. So what she does is actually, uh, for example, 35, you put three in one place and five in different places. 35 is put nearby. That one is a careless mistake, which you should try to avoid. And the exams, they, they don't try to, what? they find out what you've written. If it's legible, they put marks. If it's not clear, they put a wrong, your marks will be reduced. And then when you... Nowadays, you can get the question papers. If you pay money, they'll give you question papers. 11 standard, 12 standard, 10 standard. Any university exam or government exam, you can pay the fees and get the question paper, answer sheet. When you see the answer sheet, you are written 23, but it looks like 33. You are written 33, it looks like 23. So scribbling you are written. So it's your mistake. You can't blame the teacher. You will say, sir, I wrote 23, sir. 
they have taken us 33 it's your mistake so you can't blame the teacher one who corrects i wrote 33 she has taken us 23 because your 23 looks like 33 or 33 looks like 23 and 35 you put three one place five you put in different place 35 looks like 3 315 same thing with decimals fraction all these things you must be careful legible writing is very thing and continuing is about scoring good marks find where you are weak rajma joshi sir and in maths i will do mistake like for multiplication division mainly for 43 but i will put sometimes 56 or 45 i can understand what you mean for multiplication division mainly like for 43 i will put sometimes 56 or 40 that's what i think that legible writing 43 Many put like forty, forty-one. I have seen put like forty, forty-seven. They put like forty-one, forty-one. They put like forty-seven. This mistake you must not make it. Even at night, twelve o'clock, if you write forty-two, you must put at forty-two. Formulas also to get good marks. Um, actually, my mother was a teacher. She'll wake me at eleven thirty and say, "What is the formula of A plus B plus C?" The whole spell. I'm still in sleep. Correctly. Multiplication. Just like if you want to drive a. Cycle at eleven to twelve o'clock. If daddy wants to urgently go out, he wants to take a car and a bike. Bike. So daddy won't do what? Go and learn with his steering, with his uh, brake, and with his accelerator because it's night twelve o'clock. Like that, it must be thorough. So concentration is more important, and uh, finally. many good student intelligent student they don't get 90 they say sir i'll get 95 i'm a teacher for 30 years they say sir i'll get 95 100 they'll get 85 so i'll be shocked sometimes i'll make them to work out immediately after the exam or we'll see the answer sheet they'll be having more confidence more confident will make to write like this more confident means they'll be very fast see generally when you know the sum thoroughly you must do it very carefully uh one example i can give you a person a blind person i have not seen in a newspaper or heard from anyone a blind person crossing a road and hit by a lorry or a bus or hit by a bike only person with eyes every day you read in the newspaper person crossing the road hit by a car hit by a bike only person with eyes Will get what hit by a car, but a blind person won't cross so easily. He'll take a help. He'll cross slowly, or when a signal is on, if green signal comes, when others walk, he'll hear the sign and sound and walk slowly. That's why I said, I have not seen in my life it has come in the paper a blind person hit by a car. Only person with having two eyes is hit by a car. Like that, more confidence. When you see a sound, we are more thorough. I'll tell my student when you're. More thorough. Suppose you sum your workout in the morning. Morning only you worked out the sum. That sum comes in the question paper. You get excited. You become more happy. So what you do? That sum. What you do is actually in more confident you do a mistake because you know the sum thoroughly. So you must be very thing. So Rajkumar Joshi, sir, for handwriting I have golden hand certificate. That then you must be more confident. <laughs> That is why you are you are sometimes. Using marks. So again, I repeat. So some you've done in the morning. It has come in the test. You jump on the table. You smile. So what happened? There you're going to make a mistake. Just like a person with open eyes getting hit by a car, but a person blind. So person who is not done the sum will do it carefully. He'll get correct. So you must do it correctly. You got it. So more confidence. That's what he said. A blind person hitting by a car. Or hitting by a bike, I not seen it. A blind person, I have seen. One of my wife's colleague was a blind person. Oh, I used to wonder at her. She'll wait at the signal. When the signal becomes green, she'll hear the sound. Others also all say signal has come. She'll hear the sound. She'll cross the road. Others, when the signal comes orange, itself they'll run, and they're hit by a bike. Something like that. Not only maths require concentration. Uh, Raj, Kamal, I have one doubt. 
What said Dr. Raji? Tell me. What doubt do you have? Uh, so Raj, you can tell me what doubt you have. How to improve concentration? How to improve concentration? This is the main question. I tell you, first of all, I told you several times in the last three days counseling, how to remove fear for maths, weakness in maths, how to score more. For concentration, the main thing is many students, what happened? They have wrong things go in the mind. When wrong things become thorough, it's very hard to remove. So concentration, first you must learn correct thing. For example, if you learn a formula, for example, 12, 6 or 72. 12, 6 or what? 72. If sometimes you learn 74 and go on putting 74, 74, your concentration gets weak. It's very, very hard even if you go to 11th standard and the 12, 6 or 74 will go in mind. So concentration you try to develop from the foundation, 12, 6 or 72. For example, 12, 6 or once you put 74, you find out that mistake. You try to rectify the mistake immediately thorough. A plus A minus B the whole square. I told you many simple formula, A minus B, I'm not exaggerating. Many 11 standard students, A minus B the whole square comes in six standards. For many syllabus. 11 standard, they put A square minus B square plus two. Because the wrong things goes in the mind. This is called concentration, they say. It's not concentration. So that A square minus B square, you're written in six standard. It has gone in your mind. So try to write four or five times. Formula, some of your weak means that model you work out two or three times. For example, there are easy models, moderate models, hard models. Uh, of course, some uh, sleep well before going to bed. Uh, don't watch movies like that. In other words, uh, don't work out during nights and all when you have lesser concentration. Uh, maths, you can work out in the nights when you're going for some entrance. If you're doing other syllabus, if you want to get sent down, like that. If you're weak, if you're only like getting 16, 17, don't work out maths like late nights. You're bound to think. If you want, if you're already very good, you're getting 90. You want to get 100, you work out because you've got a challenging spirit. you got a what to say. This IQ, you can work out in the nights. You're, you're working for the entrance. You're working for some, some entrance examination. Uh, generally, early morning studies time is good, they say, but nowadays it's not correct. Many, many girls they study in the night and finish it off. In those days, it was good. It's not, it depends upon your mind and mentality. Because sometimes early morning, what happens? There are a lot of distractions. Uh, the newspaper man comes, so there are a lot of distractions. And the milkman comes, uh, parents get up and put coffee, daddy gets ready for a job. They get up at four o'clock and sleep. It depends upon your uh, thing. So many in, my, in this generation, many study in the night. In my generation, because in those days, in 70s, 80s and all, they go to bed early. They go to sleep at 8, 8.30. They, they take the lunch. Maximum at 9, they go to sleep. They get up at 4.30. Nowadays, every family in a town, Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai, Calcutta, Delhi, they go to sleep at 11 o'clock. Not only elders, minimum 10 o'clock. I have not seen a family in Chennai or Bangalore or Delhi. 90% they go to sleep only at 10, 10, 30. Some grandparents, they may go to sleep early. In my days, in my generation, they go to sleep at 8, 30 or 9. Then you can get up early morning. Going to sleep at 11 o'clock and if you get up at 5 o'clock, it's clean wood. You have in sleep on day. So, 11 means don't get up at 4. 5 o'clock is okay. Don't go to sleep late and all. If you're working, it's better. So, night you're, you're comfortable. Sir, I'm comfortable working at 9 o'clock till 11 o'clock because my parents are watching some TV. My grandmother is watching that program. My mother is doing some work. Like some uh, next day's cooking work or something. My father is doing office work. My father is an engineer. My father is a child account. Till 11 he works. My mother works. My grandmother works. 
watch his TV. Then you can go, you can sit and work till eleven o'clock because everybody is awake. Then you can awake and do. You are comfortable with it. Try to develop that thing. So it depends upon what time you want to say. So concentration comes by doing more sums. If you are weak in a particular model, you have to work out. Many run away that sum won't come. If you work out at least half a dozen, some only it will come. So this six to seven or seven thirty we come. It's only a kind of counselling. It's a kind of uh, interaction with you, doubts, clarification, anything you can ask. So if you have a particular sum or model you want to ask, you put in there. Okay, we'll do it. Upload the video next day. And uh, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe our channel, and also press the bell button for any uploads or future notification. Tell your friends, neighbors, and well wishers you can come. And six to seven thirty, and we'll work out in the board. Next week we'll connect the board, but board also we won't work out the sums which you ask immediately, because when you ask a eight standard sum, just like Joshi asked, students with ten standard, eleven standard will be there. So they get distracted; they'll go away. So any model, any topic, CBSC, ISC, ICSC, IGC is there. In, in Karnataka, Bangalore, you find a lot of international syllabuses. Mm -hmm. Also, you find in Mumbai, also find. Um, but here, uh, uh, where there are a lot of IP centers in it's called the IP capital in Bangalore, you find a lot of international syllabuses. Even international syllabus, you can ask doubts in eleventh, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. We'll try to clarify. You can join a Zoom app. You can contact our email. Private tuitions in East Bangalore. You can contact us. Private tuitions. We teach maths, physics, chemistry till twelfth standard. We give trial classes if you want. In Zoom app also, if you want, you can join trial classes. And doubts you can ask um, about how to improve concentration. Concentration can be improved by having a lightness, lightness in the sense of interest. If you ask a boy, if you want to learn a car, he learn immediately. If you give the daddy's car for a seven standard boy or eight standard boy, he will sit near and learn because he got an interest. If you want to learn a guitar, you learn immediately. You will say, "Mad, I don't have concentration. That's another humbug. You don't have interest." First of all, you must have a challenge in spirit and interest. See, I have seen people going for learning Casio, guitar, and other things. They got an interest. They learn fast. They got a challenging spirit. They got a lightness. They smoke thing like uh, concentration and weak and all. They don't have much interest to put in other way. If you have a challenging spirit, that match some will come. How we learn a car? See, I go to students. They teach me about a lot of modern modern gadgets, laptop. If I doubt, they ask them. So, a yeah, ten standard boy will explain. Smartphones. Sometimes I struggle with smartphone. They say, "Give me, sir, I'll teach you," because you got interest in smartphone. If you ask a first standard boy, a girl or a boy of five years, they'll teach you smartphone because they spend more time. They spend more time. So look here, uh, Raj Tamil. You spend more time in studies. It's your weak concentration comes. Many people spend time in smartphones, laptops, video games. They get to, what more just in points in a video games. How they get? Even the elders don't get points. I've seen some fourth standard students getting. More points in video games than a tenth standard student, because the fourth standard student spend more time, is more interested. His IQ is more on that. So concentration comes by interest and a challenging spirit. One or two may be very weak, like a physically handicapped, or from childhood their knowledge will be not there. Some student, like some a boy or a girl, like sixth standard will have a. Knowledge of only four standard. That is around uh, out of thousand students in a in a society. Some ten uh, or twenty will be like that. Their IQ will be low. And, uh, what is called physically handicapped, like not exactly mentally retarded, 
a kind of what this kind of student theory okay. so it depends upon the concentration is you have to show more interest spend more time in whatsapp and other gadgets smartphones you spend more time like you to spend more time in, in, in subjects you are weak show more likeness more aptitude more what challenging spirit i that some will come i'll do it i'll get it that is in it i have seen students say asking for bike parents will say if you get 19 above send them will get a bike they'll say ulta first you get a bike and then i'll get 19 that is wrong many parents give a bike first in these days in my days uh, they get a cycle if you get 100 only they'll get a cycle sometimes if you get 98 will cry then they get a cycle after getting marks they'll buy and give you nowadays first the parents first buy and bike 12th standard students i know lot of students and go for home tuitions the mother will say the dad has bought a bike and give because he said if you get a bike he'll study actually he won't study he'll roam in the bike last week in bangalore city you have seen it last sunday 6:30 it happened three young boys 9th 10th and and one is around uh, 21 years they were doing this wheelie just what wheelie you know just going in a bike and suddenly racing the bike wheels up and down three of them were killed it came in thing if you want to even see thing also online it's there so many parents make the mistake of getting a bike and then they say to me when i go for home tuitions they are more interested in bike i ask them why he is in 12th standard why he get a bike sometimes they they know an accidents they may go put in driving a bike they may be careful because they ride about the father but sometimes they look to the friend they look at involved in an accident i know cases where they get involved in police they catch them so you must be very careful in these kind of things so main thing is actually the interest you show so how much you show the interest in driving a bike control you show in studies it will come of concentration so try to have thing more concentration why i give some advices and examples in this it's not that uh, the parents should give you a gift they should give you but first you make the parents happy which is very important is studies you got it 11th standard and 12th standard you must try to get marks you can't get study 12th standard in 40 years there may be exception you can't study 12th standard in what 30 years this age to study 7th standard you 7th standard is studied in what 11 or 12 years 8th standard studied what 12 or 13 years 12th standard studied in 16 or 17 years so that's the age to study bike you can learn any time car you can learn any time there's plenty of time so it's not i'm against learning bike or car you learn it but at the same time it's a time to study so you study uh, abhishek raj ask which syllabus is good which syllabus is good just know tell like which syllabus is good uh, syllabus some syllabus it's a fact See, I'm not uh, supporting this syllabus, that syllabus at all. Some entrance and all, if you want to do some IAM entrance, IET entrance and all, CBC and IEC syllabus are good. Of course, if you are in state syllabus, you can join this IET, but the extra you must spend efforts by joining a course. Even in CBC syllabus for IET and all, you must try to what? Put extra efforts. So if you want to go for NEET and all, generally cbc and icsc igc these kind of syllabuses are quite good it's a non fact only but that doesn't mean the other syllabus are bad other syllabus is also good but there's no lot of challenging sums in there for example i give a simple example if you take a tamil nadu 12th standard syllabus or karnataka state syllabus around 8 lakhs to 10 lakhs people are writing so there are people from villages karnataka tumku devanagari tamil nadu like trichy or small villages like chengalpet all of them the tamil nadu government cannot make the syllabus tough like cbs if they make means village students can't study they can't go for tuitions 
they don't even have money to study some of students go for a job their parents are not so rich they come from a poor economic background so the state syllabuses are made in such a way around 10 lakhs or 8 lakhs can write at least they must to get through the central syllabuses and iisc are generally little higher level international syllabuses igcc but even state syllabus people come out in flying colors they have to do extra effort they have to join extra courses the state government itself is keeping coaching after school hours you can join them and get it rajkumar joshi sir for what olympic exam has given to cbse school olympic exams are given this question joshi i thought you will ask first itself Um, about thing because I was speaking about entrance which come after twelfth. Olympic exams are good for three or four reasons. Number one, if you write a Olympic exam, you can practice well. You you come under the entry level where entrance exam in future will be easy. Secondly, you can't go for an entrance exam. So Olympic exam is very good to get above ninety five to hundred. Number one, Olympic exams are kept to. for scholarship purpose like cbse and many schools keep olympic exam good students they give scholarship so what happens sometimes this olympic exams the school selects a good students of course some bad students i mean we soon feel sad why the school is giving more importance for them but school also wants some results so for example school wants to put so and so student has come first in the state second in the state such as saying so olympic exams school selects them and gives scholarships and also in olympic exams these kind of schools you know what happen they come in good flying the colors that student and future they become scientist it's not necessary the people only who study olympic exam become a big scientist the probability or percentage is more i told you yesterday about abdul kalam he studied in ordinary school he was a rocket scientist he comes from a very poor economic background from rameswaram not only became the president of india he was a very good student he was a thing in what scientific institutions in rocket things technology he was so good and he was so good in nanotechnology nanotechnology is a developing technology and india is is one of the best in nanotechnology but he comes from a ordinary state school he studied in state school it's not that state schools are bad only so olympic exams Are good for from seventh standard, sixth standard. They keep in CBC schools, a lot of private schools keeps. So this kind of exams you can participate. That increases IQ, grasping power, gives you more challenging spirit, gives you scholarship, and teachers become happy, parents become happy, the school becomes uh, proud of you. Okay, and you you come out in flying colors in final exams, and also in entrance exams. So Olympic exams are meant for uh, to come out in flying colors. Olympic exams are meant to come out in flying colors in future. Then Olympic exams are kept in mostly in CBSE schools. Now it is even some uh, state schools they keep private schools mostly keep this Olympic exam. They give scholarship if you come get good marks. You need not pay fees, and in future you can become. You can join these Olympic exams. Don't think it's kept only tenth, eleventh, or twelfth. Even sixth, seventh, they keep in it. These kind of exams, a kind of competitive exams from. So you can face competitive exams boldly. And before I conclude, Olympic exams. If you work now itself, you can work out for time concept. See, for example, thing in an entrance exam, questions you are finishing. If you are supposed to finish in thirty seconds, sixty seconds, forty-five seconds, or one minute or one half minute, if you work out Olympic exams from the beginning, you can finish the sum faster. That's why entrance will become easy. So you got Rajkumar Joshi. Olympic exams are meant for finishing the sum faster. In future, entrance exams like IIM, IITM, in NEET and all, to get scholarships, to increase your IQ, to remove fear. and there are lot of olympics exams kept in various levels like indian national junior science olympic regional mathematical olympic exams they are keeping it and what rajkumar joshi has asked is for 
स्कूल लेवल जे बिकॉज जो स्कूल टेक्नो स्कूल दे कीप ओलम्पिक एग्जाम्स टू इम्प्रूव देर नॉलेज देर आर नेशनल लेवल एग्जाम्स कॉल इंडियन नेशनल जूनियर साइंस रीजनल मैथमेटिक ओलम्पियड एग्जाम फिजिक्स ओलम्पियड कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड इन फिजिक्स एंड ऑल दे हैव एग्जिबिशंस वेर दे कैन डिस्प्ले देर नॉलेज नेशनल ओलम्पियड फिजिक्स ओलम्पियड एंड ऑल दे कैन थिंक देर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स बट दीज थिंग्स comes in age standard to 12th standard you can do it of course uh, uh, this olympic exams or this kind of uh, national junior science exam control it's meant for people who are more interested so generally we are having a topic how to score marks even 60 and above is a first class so try to score marks between 60 and 70 and then try to develop uh, so i'm not against scoring marks starting itself from 90 for we can tell All hundred students won't score ninety and above immediately. There will be variations of thirty, forty, forty, fifty. So if you're in which variation, you see, you try to develop it. If you're in thirty, forty, try to make it next time till sixty, forty to sixty. Either a group of twenty different or ten different. That's the main thing. So these Olympic exams are meant for those who want to score high in the entrance. Mainly Olympic exam, I can tell you, for time. We present a particular time. We must try to do it some fast. Then you can do any entrance. Of course, uh, if uh, students who are weak, students who are normal, students who are above normal, if they try to do it some faster, they are going to do mistakes. So don't try this method, all of you. It's only for those who want to try for future entrance exams. Do the sums. Those who are weak, do do the sums step by step. Uh, don't do it faster. because so don't uh, try to see others and reach everybody has their own metrology our own what all five fingers are not same so god has given the god's creations like that so what you are you try to be that thing and uh, so we will try to meet tomorrow at 7:15 so joshua i'll upload your this thing and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe our channel and for future uploads and notification press the bell button if you want home tuition in math physics chemistry in bangalore east area you contact or email just tell your friends neighbors and well wishes come thing you can ask any doubt here it's between 8 to 12 standard for any syllabus we will meet tomorrow I'll tell your neighbors thank you for everyone raj tamil doshi abhishek santan raj everybody thank you and we'll upload those things now also we are uploaded in this online classes please see that first and in doubt you can ask tomorrow you can put it thank you very much thank you